SR203 is the main highway between Duval and Monroe, carrying over 12,000 vehicles every day. Crossing or entering from the many intersections along this route can be challenging, especially where High Rock Road and 203rd Street intersect with SR203. At this intersection, there is an increasing number of turning movement collisions, prompting WashDOT to implement safety improvements here. In doing so, WashDOT has determined that a compact roundabout at this intersection would be a cost-effective solution to improve safety for the ever-growing number of travelers on SR203. The parts of this compact roundabout are easy to understand. Splitter islands divide the entrance and exit lanes of the roundabout. The circulating roadway goes around and between both central islands. Once you are inside the circulating roadway, you just drive in a counterclockwise fashion to the exit lane you desire. This roundabout has several yield striping lines. Be sure there is a sufficient gap in the circulating traffic before crossing these dashed lines. Those drivers already inside the circulating roadway have the right-of-way. Now, let's look at how average-sized vehicles, such as cars or pickup trucks, will navigate this new compact roundabout. When driving northbound on SR203 and wishing to turn onto High Rock Road, you have two options. Just turn to the right as shown directly onto High Rock Road, or enter the circulating roadway, go around both islands as shown, and then exit onto High Rock Road. When driving northbound on SR203 and wishing to turn onto 203rd Street, enter the circulating roadway as shown, continue around both islands, and then exit onto 203rd Street. When driving southbound on SR203 and wishing to turn onto 203rd Street, just turn to the right as shown. When driving southbound on SR203 and wishing to turn onto High Rock Road, enter the circulating roadway as shown going around both islands and then exit onto High Rock Road. When driving from High Rock Road, you can go southbound on SR203 by entering the circulating roadway using both islands and exiting on SR203 as shown. When driving from 203rd Street, you can go northbound on SR203 by entering the circulating roadway, driving between both islands as shown and exiting on SR203. Now let's look at how large commercial vehicles such as delivery trucks and semis, will utilize this roundabout. All islands at this compact roundabout will have mountable curbs for these vehicles. The first commercial vehicle to consider is the standard delivery truck. The animation shows a left turn from southbound SR203 going to High Rock Road. Notice how the truck uses both the circulating roadways of the roundabout, and if need be, the truck can drive over the mountable islands. A similar movement is used when driving northbound on SR203 and exiting onto 203rd Street. Next, let's consider a semi-truck and trailer. The animation shows a through movement of the semi-truck and trailer going northbound on SR203. When a similar vehicle is going southbound, the same movement is used. Note how the truck and trailer use the mountable islands to stay within the confines of the circulating roadway. In addition, let's look at a dump truck with trailer and a farm tractor with trailer, two well-known vehicles that use this intersection. The animation shows a through movement of the dump truck and trailer going northbound on SR203. Then, when the same vehicle is going southbound, the same movement is used. Note how the truck and trailer use the mountable islands to stay within the confines of the circulating roadway. Left turns occur frequently from northbound SR203 to 203rd Street, involving farm tractors pulling trailers. In this animation, you can see how a farm tractor with trailer enters the roundabout, uses both circulating roadways, and then exits onto 203rd Street. This compact roundabout has been designed to fit within the existing intersection footprint, saving costs while providing all the safety benefits associated with roundabouts. Also, once built, it will move more daily traffic than a signalized intersection while reducing potential conflict points. This new compact roundabout at SR203 and High Rock Road will benefit all users, including transit and commercial vehicles, well into the future. For more information, Please see links in the video description. Thanks for watching.